everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess and Lucy. We're going shopping. We're going shopping. Every time I do that, it makes me look like a ghost. Okay. Last time we didn't find shoes. So yesterday we went shopping at the outlets with Daddy and Bubba and Lucy, and we were trying to find Lucy some shoes for school. I was gonna vlog that, but then my camera died, so I just scrapped it. So we found nothing. She wants like these certain shoes for school, just like really and I plain. Can put on by myself. But she wants them with Velcro. I kind of want them to be like Converse style or like Kev style, non-athletic like sneakers. And I want them to either be a pink, like a light, light pink, a gray. I think gray would be nice. Um, light colored. And every one that we found was like bedazzled and crazy. So, uh, a kind of dark pink one and kind of light pink one with two straps. Okay, two straps, dark pink light. So we've looked and the outlets had a ton of stores. They had a Converse outlet. They had all these different ones and we found nothing. And they we didn't even oh, yeah, find one. We went so many stores. That we so didn't many stores. Find one. We didn't find one, and she was real sad. Her shoes, she's completely outgrown, and she needs new shoes. Like they it's make, a must. They make, they, make have, they make her have blisters and everything. So and have to wear you have to wear a band-aid. It's just a mess. So we decided today to get up and, and to go shopping right without the boys. We can make a lot more ground without, especially without Nate. Daddy's going to take Nate swimming, so he is super happy about that, and we are headed out. I thought we would go to Kohl's. I'm hoping we can stay in our city, but we don't have a ton of stores, so we're going to check Kohl's. We're That's going to go to Target. Shoes. I would also like to do some back-to-school clothes shopping with her. She doesn't need a whole lot right now while it's still summer because she has shorts, but maybe some t-shirts. Um, she is going to need like winter clothes or fall and winter clothes later on. I usually do that in like October. Guys, I gotta tell you something. You gotta tell us something? I love you. Oh, we love you guys. We really do. You're a part of our family. So right now I'm gonna go to the post office. We gotta drop off our packages, our jewelry packages. You guys don't know, I sell paparazzi jewelry. Um, and I have a few more packages. We did some yesterday and doing the rest today. Then we're gonna go to Kohl's, Target. If we can absolutely cannot find any shoes in our area, we're gonna have to go down further um, away to like the mall, which I don't wanna go because it's gonna be so crowded. So fingers crossed, we'll carry you guys along with us. It's 10.30 right now. Um, I also have our back to school school list, which she already has most of her stuff because I got it yesterday while we were at Walmart, but it was so crazy and I had both kids with us. I just stopped like halfway through the list and I didn't even get to Nate's list. So I thought why well, I just had her, if we have time, I'd like to get the last of the back to school. We are one week and two days away from starting school. We are so excited um, and I'm actually feeling pretty good today. So we're taking advantage of the morning and we're going to go shopping. So we're going to bring you guys along with us. One more thing. Find we're gonna find something we are gonna find something every time I show her and then show me the light takes a minute to adjust anyway we're gonna go shopping and um, I love having these days with her there was a video I'll link it down below last year we went shopping and it was so much fun remember that Lucy we went to the consignment sale and all these different stores we had so much fun so we're doing that again round that. two you remember that you went and got you a Starbucks cake pop you remember that it wasn't that long ago. I'm sure you remember that. Anyway, no, I remember the first part. Like we went to the consignment sale where we rode on that golf cart. I remember when we got a chocolate one. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Well, we're gonna have fun today. We're gonna see what we can get into. Nate needs shoes too, but his shoes still fit pretty good. He could get another month or two at least out of them unless he's a super gross spurt. So unless I see some great deals, I know about what size I think he's going to be in. And I know what size clothes he's in because he is going to need some school clothes. But we're going out without the boys, which they would much rather be at home anyway. They're going to go swimming and we're going to hit the store. So you're going to take, take them with us? All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> Doing good. Only two options at Kohl's. She's not crazy about these, which I'm not either, but those fit. These one, those are tens. These are also tens, but they are way too small. So and they're tight. Converse usually fits kind of big, so we're gonna have to go to another Target. store. Target or Academy. Uh Man. All right, let's go look at some clothes while we're here. Mom, I'm going to put my shoes on. 
All right, you guys, so Kohl's was a bust for everything. I even wanted to look at maternity clothes. They literally had five shirts and a couple pairs of pants, which is not going to work. I probably can wait a little while on that, but these shorts I'm wearing are pretty tight in the waist. Yeah, it's crazy how fast it happens with your third baby. Um, all the clothes were so expensive. Like I saw some stuff for Nate, but they were like $10 a shirt, which I just can't. Maybe I'm cheap, but I just can't pay that. That's ridiculous for a shirt that's going to wear out. And I just have to find a better deal than that. So Target may be our option for him. Lucy's pretty tired from one store. We're going to go to Academy next. There's an Academy here and they have lots of shoes. So I'm hoping we find good shoes for her at Academy. If we don't, I don't know what we're going to do. They, had, they literally had two pairs of shoes I showed you at Kohl's that were kind of the style she wanted and she didn't like either one of them. So, oh, I just, I don't know what else to do. So we're going to keep trying, right, Lucy? She's pretty tired. <laughs> She's already over it. So I still have a lot more stores I need to go to, but it's getting kind of close to lunch, so maybe some lunch in a little while will perk you up. What do you want to go to lunch? Are you going to whine and be silly? I guess so. So we're going to keep no, going. I'm tired. You're tired. You're tired. We just went to one store, girl. I'm super tired. <sighs> All right, we're going to keep going. All right, you guys, so Academy was a complete fail. The problem is, and I know everybody's saying and screaming through the comments, go online and order her shoes. The problem is I'm not exactly sure what size she is. She's right on the edge between toddler sizes and, like, kid sizes. And just depending on the brand, it fits differently. And I don't want to buy them online if I can help it. In there, there was seriously, like, two shoes in her size. And she didn't like either one, neither did I. So... We didn't even try any on. Um, right now, she's thirsty, which it is super hot. We're trying to decide where to go to lunch. We need a girly place for lunch, but we can't really think of one. So, I guess we're going to go get a drink and do another store and then go to lunch. How's that sound? Good? All right. So, where should we go? Should we go to another shoe store or should we go to Target? My worry is if we Target. can't find shoes, we're going to have to go somewhere far away. And I'm running. we're both running out of energy, so... Target. I've looked at Target before and I haven't seen a lot of shoes I liked, but maybe we'll strike it lucky today. So, all right, let's go get a drink. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. We made it to Target and we stopped and got Icy's. Cheers. Is it good? Um, let's get some cheers and drink. Cheers. Drink. Mmm. Really refreshing, huh? Okay. We're going to the shoes. Everybody wish us luck. Fingers crossed. All right, you guys. We're finally having lunch. Are you excited? She's not very happy because they're supposed to give her a brownie and they gave her graham crackers. I'll fix it. We'll make it right. All right. You excited to eat? Yeah. There's a ball machine over there. These are like little nibblers. There's a ball machine somewhere. No, I never have any quarters though. Okay. Walmart next. Let's eat. All right, you guys, so we ran into Zaxby's real quick because we were near it and it was lunchtime, so that's what we have. Lucy ate really good. Um, she was a little sad that they didn't give her a brownie. The guy asked her what she wanted, and she said brownie, and then the line was so long I didn't go back up there. So we'll just get her a brownie in Walmart. Um, we're at Walmart now, so we have gone to Target. Okay, well, I think you've had enough anyway. Um... We went to Target. I did get them some clothes, not a whole lot, just a few things. And they were having like a sale where if you bought four, $25 worth of clothes, you got $5 off. If you bought $50 worth of clothes, you got $10 off. I only bought like 30 something dollars, so I only got $5 off. Um, but that's pretty good. I got Nate a couple shirts and her a couple shirts, and I got her a hoodie for her. Like winter clothes are completely too small so I just went ahead and got her a hoodie so when it starts getting cold if I don't have her whole wardrobe she has that and around here by winter it's all picked over anyway so didn't find any shoes in Target and then we went to um this huge kind of forgot about it this like um shoe factory or something it wasn't shoe factory but it was like oh famous footwear that's what it was and they had tons of crocs I mean not crocs converse <laughs> I'm so tired, y'all. And the problem is, is she is 
she is right into the, like I was telling you guys, she's right to where not the toddler sizes, she's into the kid sizes. Um, well, the kind that she wants pretty much stops at toddler. So it, we found a 10 that she liked was too small and they don't make it in an 11. Even online, I can't find it. So I honestly don't know what we're gonna do. At least I know she needs an 11 for sure. And then I tried on a 12 and it was way too big. So I know for sure she needs an 11. We just gotta find it. So maybe now I can order it online. She's not gonna be happy. She really wants a Velcro. And it's hard to find that. A lot of them are just lace up. And I want her to have non-character, not really athletic shoes, but like I said, like those Chuck style sneakers. So we're giving up for right now on the shoes. I'm gonna look around online tonight and we're at Walmart, which may be a terrible idea to try to do school supply shopping in the afternoon on a Saturday at Walmart. But we only have a couple things left for her list and we have not very much. Nate's, Nate's list is very different because he's in a special needs um, classroom. Yeah, so he doesn't need a lot of like school supplies. He needs more like cleaning products and snacks and they do different things in there. So Can we get snacks in kinder? I'm not sure, Lucy. We'll have to see. So me and Lucy are going to run in here. I have kind of a start of a headache, so we're going to try to make it fast. I also want to get some stuff to reorganize her toys, like some shoe boxes, like shoe plastic boxes. shoe boxes, the plastic ones that we can put little toys in to separate them in mm. categories. Because <laughs> <laughs> right now, she just has toy boxes that are just messed up. So we're going to try to organize her room a little bit. So anyway, let's go me. to Walmart. Has more books than me. True. All right, you guys. I can't even tell you how hot it is outside. So sorry. Hear the air conditioning. We are dead. It's after two. We it's left our house a little after ten. What I say, ten thirty. I don't know. It, it feels like we've been out for eight hours. It's not even been four. What? We went into Walmart. We got all of the kids' school stuff. I did everything on the list. Except the only thing we can't find, there's always one thing. Nate needs like large pencils, like um, the jumbo kind. And last year I know he had had the same kind um, and they were hard to find, but we did find them at Walmart. They're either sold out or they don't carry them anymore. So I'm just gonna order those on Amazon when I get home. But everything else we have bought. Yeah, we thought we found them one time, but they were like mechanical, and I just don't think that's what she wants, um, because I know those are like different to write with and stuff, so they have like some jumbo mechanical ones, but I don't know. I'd rather have the ones I know that she is asking for. I am one of those people that I don't care what a teacher puts on the list, I will buy it. I am so thankful for our teachers, and I mean, it's expensive to buy school supplies and stuff, but they spend way more than I ever will. Um, on our kids and I'm just so grateful for them so anyway we're going back home I'll check back in with you guys in a little while look be looking for a back to school haul that's coming up soon but right now we need to get home we are exhausted all right you guys so we've had a very relaxing afternoon <laughs> finished up by organizing all of Lucy's toys with our new bins there is one bin are you gonna keep it clean it's not closed all the way so they're all organized it's taking up a little more room like we even have some stacked over here, but everything's separated and organized and you're going to keep it clean, right? I'm still going through, I'm still going through so many clothes. I have a week to get ready for this consignment sale. <laughs> and anyway, all right, I'll close out the vlog in a minute. I just wanted to show you guys our awesome organized chaos here. <laughs> I'll get it. I'm coming in the bathroom because everybody's asleep. Well, me and David are still awake, but okay. So we got home from running around and I found some shoes on Amazon. So I looked at lots of different places. They don't make the kind of Converse she wanted. They do, but they stop at size 10, which is crazy because Nate is in a size one and he has Converse, but it must have been a special edition or something. He has Converse with the um, Velcro. Anyway, we found some Adidas white with pink on it. And they are Velcro. That's what she wanted because she wanted to be able to put them on and off. She will be learning to tie her shoes soon, but hopefully. But anyway, she wouldn't be able to put them on and off by herself, which is fine by me. <laughs> I'm going to have my hands full soon. Um, fuller. <laughs> and then we, I took a little rest. Um, 
we chilled then we organized her room which is oh my gosh it's gonna be so nice if she, if she can keep it clean um and keep all that organized which i think she can because before it was just in these big bins so everything just got all mixed up now it's all separated i have a week to get ready for this huge consignment sale normally i'm way on top of it i have everything on hangers i'm printing name tags i'm doing the very last little thing about name tags but the price tags i don't have any of that done <laughs> i don't even have everything pulled out so hmm. david's mom is actually coming into town tomorrow hopefully tomorrow either tomorrow or monday to help us out for a few days with the kids and you know, i've been so sick that i have really not been able to do a whole lot with them and everything i just fell behind on everything so she's gonna come hang out with us for a few days and that would be awesome. So maybe she can watch the kids some way. Do this little consignment stuff. So. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, we had a really fun day shopping with Lucy. Be looking for a back to school haul soon. I'm going to show you clothes and shoes once it all comes in. I got her a few little dresses at Walmart. Some shirts and stuff at Target. I really don't think she needs much more because her shorts still fit her. And she's going to be in shorts for the next couple months at least until winter fall winter comes then they're going to both need a whole new wardrobe so that'll be fun <laughs> also want to tell you guys um thank you for all the wishes and prayers and all of that we are doing okay i know i've missed days here and there on youtube and that's just because i have been so tired and sick and all the things i am 11 weeks three or four days right now so hopefully around 12 or 13 weeks i'll feel a lot better um I did pretty good today and then as soon as we got home I got sick so it's totally normal I've got some questions like is that normal yes and it's very normal to feel sick early in pregnancy it's very common and um you know every pregnancy is different of course but looking like this is not official yet but I'm letting you guys know that we may be moving to a ground floor apartment a four bedroom ground floor apartment, which will be huge for Nate. If you guys know the saga we have with our downstairs neighbors and all that, you'll be so excited to hear. Uh, it's not official yet, so you guys say prayers that we get it and um, all of it goes through every okay and we're still waiting for the final word. But oh my gosh, it'll be such an answer to prayer. But we'll be having to move in like less than a month, all of our stuff. Back when we were having so many issues, so many of y'all said, just move to a ground floor. I'm like, it's not that easy. <laughs> it's not that easy. It's going to take us a lot of work, a lot of work, and a lot of headache. But especially now that the new baby's coming, we need another bedroom. And looks like there's one opening on the ground floor. So everybody say prayers that we get it. It'd be such a nice blessing. But anyway, we had a great day today, and I did a quick jewelry show. It was kind of slow tonight, which is weird, but nights like that happen. If you're not following me on Facebook, facebook.com slash jessicaholleyrn, and I do jewelry shows over there. You can hang out with us in the comments. It's really fun, and um, they sell $5 jewelry. But anyway, love you guys so much. If you like this video of me shopping with Lucy, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.